Look at his little butt wiggle. Eee, his little butt's wiggling. Babe, yeah. take this ball. Oh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I gotta warm up. I gotta warm up. I gotta warm up. Come on. So it's about 1.24 in the morning. I am in my jammies up kind of late. There's Happy. This is when Happy comes out. Hi Happy, it's your witching hour. All right, I'm gonna come in from the side. There we go. Oh, you're gonna show us you can go in your toy. Look at how cute that is. So I just thought I'd turn it on, have a little bit of a happy hour. <laughs> it's Happy's happy hour. Look at him go. Oh, hey, Kiki. Did you come see what's going on down here? We've never had a problem on this side with him trying to escape. I've also come to notice that he does not use those tubes. He burrows in there. So there's a burrow going that way. There's a burrow going through the back. So I'm going to get rid of all of these tubes and I'm just gonna build this up without tubes and just let him burrow. He's so funny, he totally disappeared. All right, I'm going to bed too. I'll catch this in the morning. And we're awake. So last night I couldn't go to sleep. I had ideas, like some stuff just kept coming to me. Like, what could I do to improve Happy's cage? One of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna take those out and we're just gonna leave this, this big, massive digging spot for him. I'm gonna leave one of them to go in there so that he can actually get to his ham kit because we still love that but I think I need to repair it. The other thing I'm gonna do is, you see this? Because we have this detolf, we can't really connect anything except that I had to put a little stoop for him. Then I was looking online and look what I found. We can make him a holder. Let's make him a wood holder. How brilliant is that? So I've got all my stuff over here ready to go. Got some more of this so we can get going. Then I went and looked up what other kind of bedding is good for hamsters. And this Aspen is, now check this out. So I found something from Erin's Animals. She did a DIY hamster digging tower. What a great idea. Now Happy's gonna have this massive digging space, but what if we made like a really big digging tower for him to play with from time to time somewhere else in his tank? Give him something extra to do, kick that boredom. I think we should try it out. So we actually have this water bottle left over that we got a long time ago and we never really did anything with. We can use this as our tester so we still have some water in there. Maybe even swap it out because it is lower. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be cool. I also have this ladder. What if we did this? We could still see through the slats to see how much water is in there. Oh, let's tie that with some of that twine. Ooh, that's gonna work better. And then we'll put something on the bottom to get it to stop. <gasps> we'll attach those things. Or cut them those up. Done. Babe, I found it. Yes! We can use this plastic. We can use the plastic. Look it. I don't think I've shown you yet. Look. Oh, that's cool. That's from Aaron's oh, Animals. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so something along the lines of that, just the idea of it. Like, he has a big pit. Like, that's his digging pit. But with this, we can, like, bring it in from time to time and keep him from getting bored and stuff. Babe, we could use the wooden blocks that we always use. Okay. And we could double stack this because look, that thing is like two CDs high. Boop, boop. Yeah. What we could do is we could dehinge it, and then this would be the top panel, and then the other side would be the bottom panel. One side would be complete glass. Man, babe, do we have any more CDs? I'll check. All right, let's do a tester in here because it would essentially be here. That might be too big. We don't have that much space. Oh, sorry, Mr. Knight. Yeah. I'm gonna switch to the skinny one. Yeah, that one works out a lot better because see, the mouth goes straight out. Now he won't be having to lift. Hey, Happy. Happy loves it when stuff is happening in his cage. He's like, what's going on? Hey, there's a little bit of water in there. You want some? All right, Happy, I'll be really quick, okay? So take a nap if you need. I'm gonna clean out your space. You're gonna get a burrow. Look at him standing. Found out, let me put my hand low. No, no, he went for a charge. Did you see that? I just got goosebumps everywhere. He's going for a charge. We have to do this on Happy's terms. And if Happy is like, what's going on in here? And he charges, you don't go in for the, what you see? Look at it, he's charging. Hey, you wanna bite some of that? We're gonna clean your cage today. Okay, yep, yeah, nope, don't charge. I'm cutting off these edges and I'm gonna super glue them to seal. I'm using non-toxic glue and I'm closing that 
up. It's hard to do this with one hand, so I'm doing it and showing you as I go. So I glued that together, and it's, it's pretty strong in there. I'm not gluing it to the water bottle. It's just strong in there. And this is a, actually a bird ladder. Works out. Now that it is on there, I'm gonna slide it off, and I'm gonna reinforce it with twine. Look at that, slides right off. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. Ah! Got it. So now I need to just kind of trim it up a little bit, put the thing back on, and make a stand. Uh, come on. Yes, yes, look, it worked. Now let's twist it around so that that's in the back. Yay! I love it when things accidentally work out. Look at that, that's perfect. Now we can use that to hook on to our stand. I need to figure out logistics. I'm gonna try to keep this as natural looking as possible. We're gonna keep it low so that he doesn't have to climb up. That's how high it would be. Oh, thank you. Do you need some help? I need some help. Okay, okay babe, so look, I also need your opinion. So, look, there he is. He's like, what's happening? Hey, hey a little chew. Yeah. Oh, he's making some progress on that thing. So, we're gonna keep it low for him so that he doesn't have to stand up. Okay. So, I need the base to hit the bottom because it's gonna hide underneath there. Oh, dude, that's cool. That's, isn't that perfect? That's so neat. So, that's where the base is gonna go. Okay. Okay, now we need to figure out where the stand, you know what, I'm gonna add more bedding. I'm gonna make the stand hit the top. Okay. <laughs> Look at him standing. Hey. hey Hold on, I need to give him a peace offering while we woke him up. I'm so sorry. Happy, we're so sorry, buddy. He's like, I just wanna bite one of you. <laughs> the, the tall one. Check this out. All right, make sure he's not lunging by any means. And then he hey, lets me pet buddy. his little ear. Hey, little murder. Although he's a little bit like, okay, well, fine. I guess you can have some. Like nope. He's uh, he's, he's, he's grumpy because we woke him up. He's usually sleeping right now. I know, but he let me get all of it at last night. Late night is when he lets me do the most. Isn't he so cute when he's he does so that? He's so cute. I love it when he does that. I think that should definitely do it. And then as far as the base, I can use those little wood planks that we have. And then that part will hide. Let's glue these together. And then I'm going to twine it just like I did that where the twines meet. <laughs> We're gonna use these, cause it's gonna be hidden. I just need to find a way. Oh, look at that, two of them. The top has been twined. Okay, look at that. It's perfect. I'm gonna glue that on. Okay, look at that. I think that is beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is working out great. But just like that, I ran out of time. I need to go pick up bubs, and I need to get this back to Happy so he can drink some water. So let me go do that. I'll be right back. How was school? Good. I'm trying to make this, you see it? Doesn't look like a basketball goal. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's where his water bottle goes. Uh -huh. And then I'm gonna make a little stand for it. Isn't that neat? Uh -huh. yeah. Here, Bubba, take this ball. Oh! <laughs> Babe, yeah. take this ball. Oh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> on, I Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> that was pretty good. I need to find a way for it to, oh, see? It, it needs weight, it needs weight bearing down here. I'm gonna do that. Okay, what if I just did that? Let's do this first, and then I'll start making it out. Oh man, that looks so good. It looks good, doesn't it? So the yeah. problem I have right now is it's got a little bit of a lean, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take little popsicle sticks and glue them underneath till I get it straight. Oh my gosh, I, I love the stand. Yeah. I love it. Look at how great that is. It looks so good. So all this is gonna be covered. I love the twine up here. Isn't it this beautiful? Section, it looks so cool. It turned out really cool. All right, now I'm gonna give it some water and put it in with him. I wanna make sure that, yeah, it's all gonna be covered up here because it's gonna be pretty low. Yeah. So he doesn't have to like lean up. Guys, I am so proud of this. This thing is rock solid. Like, it is rock solid. All right, I'm gonna dig it into here and make sure that Happy can't climb up. All right, before I do that, let me go ahead and clean up. Let me get rid of these tubes and just pile it in. Let me give him a big old digging area. And I think, you know what? We were gonna make him a digging spot, a different one. We might save that for another day. I need a piece of plastic that goes across on the side so we can see. I need to go do a little bit more research and go and find it. Happy, what are you doing? I'm cleaning that. He always comes out when I'm cleaning stuff. Are you having trouble? Here, let me make you a mound. Here, there's your mound. Use that. Oh, did y'all see that? He just got up there. So this is clean. I added just a little bit more so I can get a little bit higher for him after I watched him take that tumble. That should do it. Look at how high that is. Yeah. How's it going, buddy? Hope you like it. I was thinking about putting this much bedding in here. He seems to really like that. Go higher. What do you think about it? Should we go higher? He's taking on the banana. He's having a field day in here. So I've taken out all of that bedding, but I have left 
just one little thing to go straight to his ham cake. But I am gonna leave that one in there. Hey, baby. Hey. So that he can go and burrow. Now, I'm not gonna pack this tight. I'm just gonna leave it super loose so he can burrow his way through. See, he found that little hole. Because we found out that he was making lots of holes. Yeah, look, it's a huge pile. That's too high. I'm gonna push some more back this way and put some new stuff in with the old stuff. Oh, look at it. He's already excited. So I have this too. I'm gonna bury this pretty low on this side and give him little holes to see if he can make his way through and find it. He loves that sand. He's so cute. I'm sitting here trying to go as fast as I can, get him back to normal life. And he just started just making it his own. This is where we're at so far. This is done. It's great. Kept it completely loose. He can go up from that side if he likes. I'm gonna build this up a little bit more so he can burrow. I'm working on this right now. It's really thick cardboard. It's bigger than the other ones, but I can't carve a hole in it at the moment, so maybe that's a job for later. He's making it out. Making it his own. He's so cute. You trying to get to that top? Is that what you're doing? You squeezing yourself in there? What's your goal here? Huh? What's your goal here? Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. Oh, that's so cute. I think I didn't have enough sand to begin with. I think he likes a lot of it, not just a little thin layer. Oh, he's trying to get him a little hole so he can make it in his little poop castle. His little butt wiggle. Eee, little butt wiggling. Okay, I could watch this forever, but I need to finish your abode. Oh my gosh, I just got the best idea. Let's scrap this. Give me this. Let me bury this. Oh my goodness. Lots of work. I had to reposition <laughs> Sir Hamster Lot over there because we shifted everything over just a little further that way to give him more space over here. Things have gotten higher, so that's nice. I need to watch out for up here to make sure there's no jumpage. Okay, so now let's go ahead and bring it over. Oh my goodness. It's the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> Look at how amazing. I'm gonna go dig that in. And voila. His water bottle's in. It looks so cool. All right, this guy's in. I've raised everything up a little bit. Look, he's got a little wonky house to go through. A little fun house. Things are up a little higher, so it should be easier for him to get in and out. Now I gotta work on his food. So we started using more of that sunburst, Higgins sunburst, and he's been loving it. I'm gonna move his food bowl over here because. We enjoy watching him eat, and he always runs back and forth through there to go that way, to go that way, to go that way, to go that way. Actually, I need to move this up a little. There we go, give him room back there. Okay, let's add some food. Have you noticed any differences? <laughs> Doesn't it look cute? It's great. It's taller now, so he'll be able to burrow a little bit more, but we need to watch him and make sure his little paws can't get up here, because then he could just lift him a little self up. Nice, man. Look at his water thing. Yeah, it looks so good. Didn't that turn out great? That's now fantastic. he can drink from it. Let's make sure some water's coming out. Okay. The castle. Yeah, hey. he's gone there to hide out. I love it when he eats. Something about breathing things, getting sustenance that just, oh, hello, what was that? What was that? Oh, he's digging. Oh, he's already digging in there. Is he burying his food? I think he might be burying. What is that? Did he just take a piece of bedding in there? Honey, what do you think? Mom, yeah. are you trying to do it so when he digs in, he can see it and, and he can go into the tunnel? Yeah, it's like a little fun house. I wanted to see if maybe he thought it was interesting because he can go both ways. Maybe I need to dig a little hole for him to get him. No, no, I can feel it. He can go both ways. Look at that. Isn't that super neat? Now we can yeah. see if he ever does it. He's eating the bedding. Why is he eating the bedding? Who knows why he's eating the bedding? Oh, buddy, what's happening, huh? What's going on? Yeah, now I smell like him, so see how much easier it is? So I say, love behind the ear. This is when he lets me do it all. Totally the best idea. Look at his little hamster face. Well, I figured out why he was eating the bedding. He's putting it all in his castle. I saw him chuck it out of his mouth and like dig in there. So cute. Also, this thing turned out so much better than I had imagined. Look, you can see through to that twine in the back. It looks so beautiful and it's so sturdy. I'm gonna keep checking it to make sure the water is coming out from that little ball, but 
Look at how great it turned out. Right, sir, hamster lot. Right, Miss Kiki. So we had it back there and then we're like, but what if he does climb up? It's gonna be late. We're not gonna be around to figure it out. Let's just put it in the middle and keep it safe. So there is where his new water hits and it is so neat. Yep, I worry that it might be a little too straight up, but it's not because I can feel the little thing. I'm just gonna keep checking on that. But that is it, our DIY water holder. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see y'all next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye.